everyone, welcome to the channel and in today's video we're gonna showcase some PvP Hulk and how he is able to perform with his artifact. I tried to build him a bit more but there is not a lot of stuff beside giving him the artifact we just took. I tried to make it uh, like uh, more, you know, I spent like 4, four star quality. Um, Artifacts that I wasn't using like it was blades and ancient ones even if I don't have the Artifacts it was worth getting the justice there Because this artifact if you have the same the same thing here justice you're getting more out of your HP So it's 0.2% of total instinct, but as a tier 4 you're getting some because uh, you have like uh, 3740 uh, justice so the 0.2 of this it's more than usual you know it's not huge but as you can see i'm close to 200k hp with a non uh, really pvp account and with only 58 percent eight max hp on my cards which is not exactly pvp but I want to showcase, uh, guys, what I was able to do in Alliance Tournament with uh, this Obelisk. Uh, having 32% max HP, but it's the lowest all attack, all defense. And to be honest, the best use here is to use the penetration thing. The one that uh, if you change option, um, you can see here. Okay, this, uh, the penetration with success 50%. Cancels an enemy's attack and that's really useful to cancel Adam Warlock's attacks uh, But besides that he's really good for PvE also uh, Let me show you what he was able to do in the highest stage I can do I can use him oh, with Mephisto 59 And of course let me show you what he was able to pull out for me in Alliance tournament As you can see we won the first 22-12 we won the second, 27-22 against Omega and now we are in the third where we were losing against the Avengers but guys, I have a lot of you asking me uh, Deathproof, who is this guy Marvel in your friend list having um, so much uh, agent level and guys, let me show you I fought him into Alliance tournament and after all this time, first time I'm going against him and he used to be a follower in my tweets and a subscriber in my YouTube and he failed on the attack on me. You can see Marvel failed the attack on Deathproof 8s and you know who is this, right? This is the guy here in my inventory with 600... 94 agent level and let me show you let me show you your his cards his cards it's 95 you saw the stats there but let's go to more to the character we really he got 40,000 more HP than me but before we go through the content for Alliance tournament and show you what how I was able to win so you some timeline battle meta is uh, team ups I was going against and against the best Alliance Conquest teams team basically I wasn't able to record a lot as you can see he got brilliant regen but oh he's missing oh no he's not okay okay okay, okay. nevertheless let's go to the PvE output for stage 59 fast forward to show you what with PvP build my Hulk was able to do on PvE and on uh, World Boss Legend Mephisto 59. Before we go through that, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, show me your support, help me boost the YouTube algorithm to show my videos in front of the line of Marvel Future Fight content. And yes, let's go to the records. Here we are against uh, Mephisto. The rotation it's pretty much the same. Uh, there's no difference if you're having the artifact or not, as you already know. And here you can see I was trying to uh, pass through this. Uh, took me more than 50 seconds, as you can see, and he was already enraged. I was saving my tier 3 for no reason. I could not uh, save it and use it. 
previously and I could have my tier 3 ready again. Uh, but yes, took me 1 minute and 10 seconds for the first phase uh, with this PvP build. And to be honest guys, there is no other stages I have to compete against World Boss Legend at the moment. Uh, that I can't use my Moon Knight or Hulk. Uh, yes, the highest is this one, 59 for Hulk. Uh, for combat type at the moment, I haven't unlocked stage 60s uh, for Null, for Ultron. I'm not sure where you're going to use combat types, human, I think. But yes, at the moment, the PvP build works really nice for me. I can do a solid clear. As you can see, there's no way I'm going to die here. I can take my time, go through the fires, do whatever. And the artifact makes me do some more damage, of course. But it's not like huge difference. Uh, at the end, I had like one minute. So I could clear like uh, stage 65, I guess, if I was playing perfectly uh, with the PvP build. So his output is really awesome on PvE also. Uh, as you can see, yes, I'm doing the challenges for stage 60 also here. And let's go through some PvP. And this is Timeline Battle, the team I was using all the week. I was letting it an autoplay and I was trying to choose characters that they have, you know, uh, extra buffs or really easy teams, high level. As you can see in the end, the tokens I'm gonna take is the highest tokens I could take. I was always picking up uh, high ranked teams. As you can see, 7-4 here. I couldn't go uh, higher. And I was trying not to go against Hulks. I want to avoid uh, fight mirrors. I want to go against all the other uh, all the other teams, you know, Spider-Man, Emma, Hela. Uh, Thanos and stuff like that but sometimes uh, because I was letting it an autoplay and I didn't want to swap into Hulk too soon or playing manually I just wanted to see what Hulk was able to do by himself and sometimes you can see my Thanos is doing all the job 73 there also yes here is a team that I, is going to kill my Thanos and Adam I think and I'm gonna die myself also perhaps, let's see. Yes, using 3 DPS this week was kind of cool from the one side, but from the other side, if you had a really busted Hulk and a really good Thanos, uh, Cyclops could make your life, uh, not Cyclops, Colossus could make your life way easier with not dying because of his buffs. But I was, I wanted to use my Hulk to see, you can see there, he collapsed. Sentry, Sentry killed my Adam and Sentry killed my Thanos, but uh, Hulk came and killed him, but after he died through Emma's ground control, he's not invisible, it's the first thing, it's the first time he compete against and he just died, here is a similar team, I was like, okay, you killed me, I'm gonna take revenge on you, here Thanos did some dirty job here, killed one Sentry, killed another Sentry, and let's see in the end i think i died from this thanos but let's figure out together here he killed me i think but uh, feels like i'm going to kill him what's going on oh yes i get reflected there but my in my opinion guys uh, okay here i was swapping into hulk to show you against emma i want him to go full on and yes, one fourth skill can kill everyone. Basically, you can see seven, eight points there. And this team up is really good go against because they are spending a character like uh, Molecule Man here just to remove your your buffs. But if you don't have buffs and you're going with three DPSs, you're you're having an advantage against this team because Molecule Man, to be honest, it's really bad at the moment. He's only good for the leadership. And for Alliance Conquest, mostly used. For Timeline Battle, some guys using him, but to be honest, he's lame. There is so many others you could use. And yes, here you can see I'm trying to... Oh, to have my Hulk's skills full on. That's why I'm not swapping onto him. Okay, Adam Warlock versus Adam Warlock. I feel like my Adam, yes, died. And yes, one shot, yes. 
One third skill, one fourth skill from Hulk can kill everyone, guys. 77 points there. Again, uh, pretty much the same team up, I think. Uh, my Thanos did some dirty job here, killed Molecule Man. Tried again. Let's see if I'm going to. Ah, okay. I'm already dead. Let's see, Adam, if I can pass through. Okay, I swapped here Hulk to show you more Hulk. And yes, he killed Dema, and now he's going against uh, Adam, two shot Adam, three cancels two, I think. And that's on auto, guys, right? I didn't, I wasn't using anything. I just was, I was just swapping. Okay, Adam killed me there. So you're not like you're you're not like uh, you know Superman or something like that. You could die, you could eventually die, but uh, it's really hard. He's really tough. And the, the reason that you can use him both ways, PvE and PvP, with a PvP build, it's the main reason I built him. And also the main reason I built him, and, and I'm so proud for it, it's Alliance Tournament, where I'm teasing it off, but I'm gonna show you what I was able to do on all three matches we had. We are in the final four. Uh, even if we lose, we're getting the third or the fourth position, which you're getting some rewards. I'm not sure. I'm gonna screenshot and show you in the very next video, I guess. Uh, but it's not really big deal. Okay, my Hulk's mask here again, 75 points. You can see it's I merged them uh, in the opposite direction. I started with the last and I'm going on with, the, you know, with a different direction okay again my thanos died through reflect here i think i swapped yes i swapped through hulk and yes i tried to one shot here and i did and you can see it's so sweet melting little spiders i could die but yes i survived it and yes three more matches to go for timeline and i'm gonna show you against thanos alliance conquest also uh, is the team up mateo suggests me to use for hulk i'm not using any team up boosting hulk's uh, damage and boosting hulk's hp either for alliance conquest or uh timeline battle because i want to show you a, a realistic uh, way to use hulk you are, if you go full on hulk play with drugs and use America Chavez and, you know, boost his HP. I mean, he could one shot, but uh, there is no really good way to use him. And I killed him here just because I was there alive. Yeah, cool. But yes, I want to show you as a part of a team. And you can see here against team that got buffed by Colossus. I'm having some trouble with my Thanos, but no. Yeah, my Thanos and Adam are really tough also. And I have let the last guy, Hulk, just to be sure that he's charged every single time his skill's gonna be charged, you know? It's really annoying dropping a character into the game to showcase his PvP value and he's just uh, cool down on his skills and doing nothing. It's so annoying. So, yes. Uh, let's see here. I get slapped by Spider-Man and Yeah, Spider-Man is doing a really nice job if he got a uh, Colossus buff. Look at this He's killing Thanos. He's killing Adam, but My boy Hulk here smashed him with a fourth skill everyone is dead and the third skill for Colossus is enough too and this is okay this is the alliance conquest i went through against and you can see i'm using no buffs for my team i'm having just straight hulk with doom's uh but the debuff immunity and you can see i'm killing here thanos really easy with colossus buff and hella and i'm going through doom spider-man and sancti once one millisecond one millisecond it's it's really insane how fast hulk destroying everything and let's go to a lance tournament the first alliance was um after five avengers 
and uh, let's find my name here. Yes, this guy Avenger Man Seven attacked me, uh, but his phone crashed, so I don't have the replay. And let's see my game here. Yes, I went against Oscar Cloud Monet. Yes. And it's really funny, uh, you're gonna find out that my Hulk, if he had his spot there, you know, if he had the opportunity to do a skill, he was destroying the enemies. And of course, I went against a weaker team, I found out that there were a guy with a Hulk tier 3, and I was like, okay, let's go! <laughs> and you can see, I slapped them off. And yes, the good part is that after the video I dropped, I figured out that uh, there is more people in my alliance built Hulk. So it was easier for our alliance having all these Hulks stacked up, you know. And we were getting some uh, more victories, as you can see. 22-27 here, we won. And where's my name again? Okay, I think in this uh, phase no one attacked me. I just, yes, I just attacked and no one attacked to my characters. They afraid of me, I guess. <laughs> I'm sure they don't. <laughs> but yes, I'm just saying. And here I went through a difficult team. Uh, though it's the same. Yes. And basically that's the meta team for this week because Thanos is banned. So the best choice is Leadership of Doom, uh, Adam Warlock and, Than and Hulk. Again, tier 3 Hulk, smashed. Yes, uh, there were team ups with, uh, with no team at all, with just the Avengers, so it wasn't the easiest thing to choose every single time. And we uh, that was against Omega, right? And now, against Avengers, I still didn't lost. To be honest, I still didn't lost. I did my own victory. And I won against Marvel, where you can see his account. Yes, I won against Q8-1404. And this is the matchup. And yes, this, this was in the final eight. And I didn't have the option to go for a smaller team up. So I had to kill a tier 4 fan, a Hulk, and I did it. And as you can see, I'm full my HP. He got kind of double... HP than me, oh no, he had a lot of more HP than me, but I guess I took the first hit and I was lucky enough to have this victory and let me show you how the best agent in the game failed to kill me. And where is he? Oh my god, the rank 69 692 Marvel didn't destroy me. Yes, his attack failed as you can see. So I'm so tough. <laughs> Proud for staying uh, unbeatable in my alliance room. Perhaps we lost. Okay, you can see he got like bazillion dumb. Uh, he got a lot more HP than me. Uh, but yes, I managed to kill him. Sorry, bro. <laughs> that was it. The today video, I want to showcase how better he is with his artifact. He's really a monster for PvP. The best way to use him is with penetration or his art on his uh, mighty. Uh, a regeneration or a symbol regeneration. He's so fat, he can stay alive in all the world boss legends and the artifact really helps him boost his damage and do one shot everyone in the game. And you don't really need anything else, you just need to bump his HP guys and he's gonna do crazy stuff for you. That was it the hype, we were in the final four, we're not going first but it is what it is. Thank you for being here and I hope I help you decide what to build next. But Venom is on the corner, it's coming tomorrow, so I'm totally waiting for it. Bye bye to everyone, kisses!